So as you can see, I have a lot of ingredients for my oatmeal. And I can do this with my eyes closed. I've been doing it for so long. And I've actually put coconut oil in there. Then I'll scoop in some peanut butter. And then from there, I just dip everything in. Throw in the cinnamon. I make this every morning. You should see me. It's just like boil water, take everything out, and just spin the tops off. Oats, banana, put the oats in. Ingredients, tops on, put it away. Many. The best cook on the team is definitely not Ford Palmer, who would probably argue that he is. Ford also thinks that he is the only person who has ever eaten oatmeal before. Uh, diet's important, it really is. I, um, I do love my ice cream. So I, I eat ice cream a lot, but that's not until nighttime. If it was up to me, I would wake up and have ice cream, but it wouldn't go well. And this is my chocolate milk that I just drink for enjoyment. And then this is the chocolate milk that I put in my coffee. This, this, for some reason, I don't enjoy this in my coffee, but I let me snack on this a lot. If other people on the team had to characterize me, I would say baker of treats, player of games. <laughs> bringer of food. I usually entice people to come over first by saying what board games I have and then when nobody responds in the WhatsApp, I go to, I just bake banana bread. And then I go to a picture of the banana bread and then I'll usually get like one or two bites. I brunch hard. So that, that's my, my fun. I, I actually love to cook and bake. It's a kind of therapeutic for me in a way. I don't know, when I'm like stressed out. And everyone here in this house is a morning person. So they're up and they're making breakfast like super early. I roll out of bed and every morning for at least the first two months, Kenyatta's like, what's wrong, friend? Like, what's wrong? Because I, I probably look like a monster coming out of bed. My roommates wake up pretty early. I'm the one who sleeps in late or sometimes it's Stephanie, but they wake up like seven o'clock. Everybody's making their oatmeal and stuff like that. I'm still in a bed, the last one coming out. Um, yeah, kind of like the training balance and, and personal life balance with the guys. Um, you know, it's been good. I think we all get along really well together. You know, we come to practice, we work hard, we push each other through workouts, but then, you know, we go home, we like cook breakfast together, cook dinners together and stuff. Yeah, I, th I think uh, the fact that the athletes are living together and training together. I mean, you can see last year just with our group of milers how well they did. They were, you know, Johnny, Kyle, Ford, Kobe, all had fantastic years. My, my favorite would be just running on the OCA, um, the aqueduct, the Old Groton Aqueduct Trail, which is it's really cool. Um, you can take it all the way north, all the way south. Um, I mean, it's a pretty good trail, relatively flat, um, so that's my go-to if I just want to have a nice easy day. Um, but we all make sure we meet up for long runs on, on Saturdays, and so we're going to be meeting tomorrow um, at Sleepy Hollow High School and run at the Rockefeller State Park. This is Don's room, um, and these are his altitude generators. Uh, so, like, I, he explained it to me once. I don't really know what's going on here. You got, you got one like pumping in nitrogen or something, and then one of them sucking out something else, and it's just like a cycle. And uh, he drilled, he drilled holes in the in the wall here, uh, so he'll probably be paying for the security deposit or whatever. He's a Pac-Man frog, and his name is Bubba. <laughs> but you can't uh, put your fingers in front of his mouth because he'll bite you. Ooh, we made maybe six or seven of them. Um, we've given them away as gifts, soon to be sold at a website or function near you. Well, this is, uh, this is from my dad. This is Henrik Lundqvist, and that poster over there is Henrik Lundqvist. Um, he is just very dreamy. <laughs> My drawer of mystery and enchantment. You got your classic M&M's, Skittles, candy, hearts. Steph sometimes tries to open this drawer really quietly. My dad is very big into hunting and um, he grew up with having two, two daughters and we've never gone hunting with him before and he um, he goes hunting very often, so he's a very avid hunter, and um, I don't know, just uh, I went home from school and 
he asked, do you want to go hunting with me? And I just said yes one day. He's a, he's a nine-pointer. You can count them.